Hi, I'm uh, Player Unknown or Brendan Green. I'm Creative Director on PUBG, and I'm here today with Wires PUBG Tech Support. Bry Rules 01. Uh, PUBG Help, why am I so bad at the game? I'm bad at the game. I don't know why. I'm just better players out there. But listen, keep playing and find bushes and love it. That's my uh, advice. ID ID, I'm guessing. Um, why are vehicles the weight of paper? Are they flip way too easily? No, if you travel at 120 kilometers over fields, vehicles do tend to flip. You know, I'm quite proud of our vehicle physics. I think they, they run quite well. Yes, collision visions, physics aren't what they, they should be, but really, you know, I, the way that I see some of you drive vehicles, of course they're going to flip. Mr. NRT. Oh, it's an essay. Um, so when will the other maps get increased loot? Um, you know, so this is the problem. So like if everyone lands in Pachinki or everyone lands in school, there's going to be someone that gets the weapons and someone who doesn't. You know, my recommendation, like with the way I play myself, is get out of, uh, you know, those really heavily populated areas and get out to more, you know, sparsely populated areas and spend that first initial time looting. Dropping up Pachinki and hot dropping is fun, but more than likely you're probably going to get mowed down by someone who finds a gun before you. So, you know, listen, we'll, we're always about balancing loot and in the future we want to run some more balanced passes on the loot, so you never know what might change, but uh, yeah, I'd spend that initial time not looking for action and, and looking for weapons. Neural or I breathe tea. It's a good thing to breathe. I've peaked in PUBG. Uh, when are we getting points for cool tricks events? Oh, listen, we want to flesh out that out game and, and give you more achievements and stuff like this. So you never know what might happen in the future. You might get the, those extra points. Zeverus asks, PUBG, so let's get to the point, yeah? Is PUBG coming to PS4? Simple question for a simple answer. I wish it was simple. No, listen, right now we're uh, focusing on PC and getting Xbox out to 1.0. Um, that's, that's really all I can say. Yo, what's good with this? Every game, my character goes headless. Lol. Xbox game preview is going to be bugs. But we'll get them fixed before 1.0. Uh, can we get hit indicators? Like, I just want a general sense of where the hole in the back of my head came from. Please, we all want this. No, no, we all don't want this. Um, no, listen, hit indicators are fine, but we really spent a long time getting our sound system to a state that you can tell where you're being shot from if you know how to use the sound system. Hit indicators, I feel it just makes it a little bit arcadey and we already offer you lots of tools as to, to know where you're getting shot from. Not party for me. Uh, I got a question. Are test server BP gonna merge with the regular server? If not, what was the point of giving them out? For testing, the hint is in the name. Hey PUBG, instead of adding new stuff, can we take a minute to focus on fixing the old stuff and making it smooth? Yes, but why can't we do both? The engineers that fix the game and make it smooth are, are different to those that create new content. You know, we have to give our artists something to do and, and new content is one of these things. It's mutter bilk. Red zone is still a thing, why? Well, contrary to me thinking that you're all bad players, no, listen, the red zone will always be, be tuned. It, it, it serves a purpose in that it provides audio cover and a distraction sometimes, but you know, we're always looking at ways to improve it and, and make it kind of a part of gameplay rather than an annoyance to players. Uh, now that we've got Dr. Disrespect and Shroud skins in PUBG, when can we expect some team skins? Soon, maybe. Uh, listen, we, we always want to uh, give support to uh, professional players and teams in the game, so you never know what we might do in the future. I wonder how many bullets have been deflected by the frying pan. Now I want death by pan versus saved by pan ratio. We have that data, maybe, but there's so much data. It takes so much time to run through all of it. Maybe someday. Viva la Conrad. Hello, player unknown. I bet you get this question a lot, but I thought I'd ask. Is there a plan to add offline bot mode? We get asked this question quite a lot. Uh, listen, we'd love to add a sort of an offline shooting um, range type thing, but we have some technical issues preventing us from doing that at the moment. Let's see what we do in the future, but uh, I can't say yes or no right now. Scooby's 86. World loot does not spawn. Is this only for the event mode? This needs to be implemented in normal war games as well. Yes, listen, you know, war games are, and custom games in general are still being iterated on and, and custom servers and event servers, they still need some work. So stuff like this, we'll, we'll get the bugs out of someday, don't worry. So when is trading coming back? Listen, we've put up some posts on our Steam community about this. There are some issues with uh, some from some trading practices, let's say that. So we want to work to, to get those ironed out. So until then, you know, we, we have to put some restrictions in place. So why is fog and rain no more? So fog and rain, we want to bring them back, but we just need to make them a little bit better. There was some performance issues. There was some rendering issues that we, we need to fix. So, you know, we're not saying they're not coming back, but we want to make them a little bit better before we, we think about it. 
Just an AKA speed. Can we get an AK-47U and an AR-15 SBR added? Even the Beretta Storm or a Desert Eagle? That would be freaking awesome. Um, yes, it would. We're going to be adding new weapons, of course, coming uh, this year. Not announcing anything yet, but, uh, you know, there should be some things that will make you happy. So, what it mean, Sandhawk. So, fun chicken. That's what it mean. Please do something about jump shooters. It's not a fair strategy. Look, our, our, our aiming mechanics and stuff, are, you know, they, they really do reward people that aim down the sights, I'm guessing. Um, but, you know, this jump shooters, if you can jump and shoot, if you can manage to hit someone, um, you know, I think it's a good shot. Uh, I'm not quite sure what the problem with jump shooting is. PUBG as where in early access on Xbox. Why don't we get at least try aim assist? The thing about, uh, game previews, we want to work with the community and, and see what the best way to, to do aim assist if we ever end up adding it. You know, this is why we're in game preview is, is working with you guys and getting this feedback. So we're not saying aim assist won't get added, but right now we we, uh, we have more pressing things to, to fix first. Why do they not make challenges for player to be motivated? We're working on this, you know, the whole out game and achievement system, we, we want to give it a overhaul and, you know, change it up and, and make it more interesting. One only Kingsley asks, how do I change the red dot style in the settings menu? Why do slowly moving vehicles give so much damage? Are you going to fix that? Yes, of course. We want to fix all things to do with uh, vehicles and collision. It just takes some time, but uh, we'll get there. So Phil Stew asks, why have deck cams not been added? Well, they have been added uh, to the PC version, and we're hoping to bring them to, to the Xbox version as well. Uh, but again, this is why we're in game preview, because we want to upgrade the game over the, the coming months. Motricia asks, how about a post-apocalyptic map? No, we've had too many post-apocalyptic everything. So, uh, you know, our maps are meant to be abandoned anyway, and we want to do some more interesting terrains. But I just feel post-apocalyptic has been done to death at this stage. Geo Get Money TV. Why is there a gun range of PC Mobile, uh, but not on PC where it began? Because we face different challenges to doing it on mobile and doing it on PC. The mobile developers have done an amazing job uh, getting a really playable version on, on, uh, on mobile. Um, we just, you know, we have different priorities internally for the PC version, so it just takes some time. What about a night operations map? Add flashlights and slow the pace of the game down for the map. That would be cool, having flashlights and then the crates have night vision. Slow the zone down to offer for stealth. That's a, not a bad idea. We've talked internally about, about night maps as well and, and even some of the, the settings we've tested internally look great. But, you know, no, no confirmation yet, but night maps are something we've thought, thought about. Uh, Player unknown. why don't you open up the skins to mothers and let the community make and sell some? We'd love to do that, of course, but, you know, these bring their own challenges about, you know, uh, troll skins and stuff like that. So we, we'd love the way that, that Valve and, and, and Dota do it with, with their skin system. So maybe someday, but not right now. Golden frying pan when? I don't know. Soon? Shakiri, I guess. Can we place it as an op option? to be able to see what your character looks like with skins you don't own. I need to know how I would look with these new skins. I, I, that's not a high priority right now. Um, maybe someday. Uh, Queely27, how did you make a game so fun yet so frustrating, so casual yet so competitive? I just made a game I wanted to play, I guess. Sensi Socom, where did you come up with the name idea? And it's a picture of the Battle Royale movie. Really? Like, quite obviously that's where I came up with the name. Mike Noss asks, why hasn't PUBG made a frying pan only server yet? That would be a, a fun time. And with our custom games, which we'll be opening up to more people this year, maybe you can have just frying pan only servers. Let's see. Septic Falcon. Oh, Septic. I like Septic. One question. Do you sleep? Sometimes. Um, maybe on planes when traveling. Um, but yeah, I get some sleep. Luke McKay. Who's down for some chicken dinners? Always. Always down for chicken dinners. Thanks all for tuning in to Wired PUBG Tech Support. Um, I hope I've given you some help or uh, some support uh, for your questions. And listen, we're always working to make the game better. Don't lose faith yet. Thanks so much and see you next time.